Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So today is January 25th and I'm kicking off another challenge for you guys. If you know me, you know I love my lemon water. I drink it every day. I always drink it every morning before my coffee, but I wanted to challenge myself to drink a little bit more because I don't drink as much as I probably should. And I know it's debated that does lemon water have effects on your body? There is plenty of research saying that it does. I will like read you guys a few things saying that it does. So lemon water is supposed to promote hydration, give you vitamin C, support weight loss, improve your skin quality, aid digestion, help freshen your breath, help prevent kidney stones. So as you can see, there's a lot of claims that it's really good for you. And I know some people are like, it's a bunch of crap. It does nothing for you. So I'm gonna do a little test for you guys by drinking one gallon of lemon water for seven days straight, every single day. I'm pretty nervous about it because I would say I drink like 60 ounces of water a day and a gallon is 128. That is going to be fun. But I went ahead and ordered a gallon off of Amazon kind of to keep me on track. I will link it down below for you guys, but I got it in yesterday. I will show me unboxing it. I was shook at how big it is. Like I was in my mind for some reason imagining a half gallon. So this thing is so big, like this thing is heavy. And as you can see, I've already gotten started today. It is 10, 12, so I'm just past the 9 a.m. mark. Need to get to the 11 a.m. mark. Um, it comes with a strap and a straw, which is super necessary, I think. And I did already fill it up this morning and I put in one slice of lemon and one slice of lime. I can literally barely hold this thing up. How I'm going to be measuring changes is one, I'm going to weigh myself. I'm not gonna give you guys any weight numbers, just personal preference, but I will tell you guys if I lose any weight, I'll tell you that number. And then I'm also going to be looking at my skin. My skin is pretty clear right now because I've been watching Hiram and I've got a very good skincare routine in order. My skin used to not be that clear, but it's decently clear now. But I do have like some scarring on my chin and texture kind of like on my forehead and some pretty big blackheads throughout here. So I will pop in like a before picture that I took today without any makeup on, just so you guys can kind of see like the before. And then we will compare the after. And then I, like I said, I'm gonna weigh myself. So I am super excited to kind of see what happens. Those are gonna be like our metrics of measurement. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on all the content. And without further ado, I guess I'm gonna, you guys are about to see how the next seven days go for me. Okay, so I wanna weigh in with you guys. I'm gonna make a note of it um, on here, but I won't show you guys any numbers, like I said. I just wanna point out that it is 1031 on day one, and I am already down past the 1 p.m. mark. I do drink a lot of water like during the day. It's definitely not a gallon though. I do kind of like, I feel very full. Like I'm not hungry at all. On my way for P number like six, today and it's not noon yet so I expected this day one update it's like one o'clock and I'm at like 5 p.m. in my water bottle so drinking the water has not been difficult at all today at least definitely say I'm a little bit less hungry but the digestion is definitely happening I'm on the toilet like every hour so TMI but that's what this video is gonna be so okay y'all i've just been like chilling in bed watching youtube you know i was just like sipping on my water and then it went that means i'm at the bottom <laughs> i am i mean you can see how much is left in there like i'm trying to get it all okay there's literally nothing left in there 206 i drank this whole gallon before three o'clock at in the afternoon proud i guess but like it was shockingly easy you can see how it will get tedious over the next seven days this was day one so i'm obviously the most motivated but yeah day one is complete feeling good feeling full interested to see how the next six days go good morning guys it is officially day two i've got my big baby <laughs> all filled up um i'm super groggy i took some sleep medicine last night and it was like horrible like i'm so groggy my head is literally pounding like i have not felt like this in a long time so i'm not feeling great i thought i would share that with you guys because it doesn't have anything to do with me drinking a gallon of water yesterday i doubt it but it is how i'm feeling today so i think it has to do with the sleep medicine i took last night um oh i feel horrible so i slept in late 
um, because I literally was so weighed down from that medicine, I could not get up. So it's 10.25 and I just filled this up. So I have to get down to the 11 a.m. which is right here, like now. So I'm gonna be working on that and hopefully I start to feel better and I will keep you guys updated. Okay guys, day three is going strong. It's 3.05 and I just hit my three o'clock line. So I'm definitely going to be fine, finished it up today, but I'm about to go hang out with my boyfriend for the rest of the night. So I'm probably not gonna film, but I will let you know how I do in the morning and what time I finish up, hoping to finish it up. I'm trying to actually stay on the lines today because I think spacing it out is good. So I will update you guys on day three. Good morning guys, happy day three of drinking a gallon of water every day. So yesterday I finished drinking the gallon right around 9, 9.30. I did find it was a little bit easier to kind of follow the lines more instead of drinking it quickly because when I drink it quickly day one, I ended up drinking even more water. So like a couple glasses afterwards, like with dinner and everything. So day three, 11 o'clock and going strong so far day three midday update it's almost three o'clock it's 2 40 and i'm almost to my five o'clock point so definitely a little bit ahead no worries i'm definitely gonna finish it up tonight again it's been another pretty easy day the only thing about that big water bottle is i can't really take it anywhere like i don't like to carry it to the gym. I don't like to carry it down to my car unless I have to. So it's definitely best for when I'm going to be home all day. And since we are still in the middle of a pandemic, I don't go pretty much anywhere. I go to my boyfriend's and I go to the gym. You know, I'll go to the grocery store and whatnot. And obviously I don't take it to the grocery store, but I will take it to my boyfriend's. But I, other than that, I don't take it anywhere if I'm leaving the house because it is so heavy and like difficult to maneuver. I guess you could throw it in a bag or a purse, but just something else to carry so definitely something to think about i would say this big bottle like this is going to be best for you if you are home all day like me so <laughs> she's very hard to hold on to but we're getting it done i honestly do feel like my skin is like a little more moisturized it just feel feels a little more full i'm interested to see i feel like i might gain weight from this because i'm like increasing water we'll see i guess in four more days Guys, I just got such exciting news. Happy day four, by the way. Uh, I do have a friend coming to stay with me this weekend. My very best friend from childhood. Haven't seen her in forever. So I'm gonna do my best to keep you guys updated um, with the water situation. But on Sunday, I'm 100% gonna do a sit down, update, weigh myself, skin, everything. I don't know if this was the best week to do this now that I think about it, because I'm on my period. And I did get a pimple and I'm like, was that from my period? I've been feeling super bloated. I don't know. I'm gonna have to like think about this and talk to you guys Sunday when I finish. But it is 9.43. I'm not quite at the 9 a.m. mark actually. I need to get working on that. But yeah, my exciting news, I'm sure I will announce it um, a little bit sooner in a vlog, but I just secured two really exciting guests for my podcast that is coming up. Um, it is called Up For It Podcast. Um, I do have an Instagram, but no episodes have gone live yet. They're going to go live March 1st. So like I said, I just got two very exciting guests. I'll talk about it more in a future vlog. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. I'm very excited. I'm also nervous because I don't know why I think that I can just do everything. Like I'm in grad school. I have a job. I do YouTube. I do Instagram. I do TikTok. I, now I'm doing a podcast. But you know what? The hustle is real. It's all good. So yeah, um, let me chug this water. I'll let you watch me chug this. <laughs> We're down past the 9 a.m. mark now. Um, and I will keep you guys updated, like I said, as much as I can over the next two days. And then we will talk more Sunday. End of day four. Um, it's 3.30 and I've drank my gallon. I'm keeping up with it. I'm already like drinking an extra glass of water because I'm thirsty because I'm like cleaning. Day four, time of finish, 3.30. Hi everybody, it's Friday, so it's day five, day five update. Um, I know I told you guys I was gonna have a friend in town, so she was with me today. We just went on a long walk outside, got a coffee, hung out, um, all that good stuff. So that definitely made it harder to drink my gallon of water because obviously I didn't bring it with me anywhere. So I found that later today, like around one or two, I, we got it pretty early and went on the walk. So then around one or two, 
I would like barely touched the water bottle, but she's been gone now. So I have been chugging it and I'm at my head of schedule. So it's 4.45 and I am almost at the 7 p.m. mark. So you can see my limes and my water and my lemon in there. And I'm about to sit here with you guys and chug it because I'm not actually about to take Franklin to the dog park. And I wanna have all my pee out of my system before we go. So let's chug. Hi guys, it is Saturday, day six. I'm drinking a gallon of water a day. I honestly think I'm just gonna keep going with it because it's been very easy for me. Even when I had a visitor, I was able to get it down. So I'm excited to get on the scale tomorrow and see what the deal is. Like I said, I've been on my period. So I think that might change the results a little bit. I just had class, got out of my Saturday class at 12.15, um, here's the 11 p.m. mark, so this is the 1 p.m., so I'm right in the middle, and I'm just chugging away. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. After I finish my last gallon, we will do the weigh-in and all that fun stuff, so. So it is officially Monday. I just woke up and did my weigh-in and took photos of my skin. Yesterday was day seven. I didn't get any clips because I just hung out all day but i did finish the gallon honestly i didn't finish it around until around 10 30 but i did do it so i officially did it for seven days straight of drinking lemon water so let's go ahead and get right into the results what you guys are wanting i'm gonna pop in my old skin and my new skin honestly i didn't see many differences in the skin i usually have about one breakout a week which i had right here this is a very normal spot for me to break out um so i had a breakout right here it's still healing but other than that i didn't have any breakouts sometimes i'll have like some of my forehead so i didn't have any of that and i did feel like my skin was more quenched i did feel like it was more um bouncy like glowy i don't know the word but i did feel like Maybe I saw a little bit of that, but it didn't necessarily help with my breakouts and my acne. Maybe if I do it for a month, if I keep doing it, we'll see even more differences. I probably will keep it up just because it was simple. It really wasn't hard to drink a gallon of water, and I know it is good for you even if I personally didn't see direct changes. And then the other thing you guys are interested in, I did weigh myself this morning. Like I said, I wanted to do it the day after so that, you know, a whole week could settle in. And I had lost one pound. So who knows if that's because if I drink a gallon of water, who knows if that's because of the time of day I weighed myself. Really, who knows? I don't see that many differences in my body, honestly. I am sad that I can't give you guys any crazier or better results, but I'm being honest. So I lost one pound. Now I ate completely normally. I worked out like I normally do, so I didn't change anything else in my lifestyle. So despite my results not being like these crazy results, I still think drinking a gallon of water is good for you. Drinking water, we know, is good for you. Your body craves water. So I'm probably gonna keep it up, see if we see any other changes. I'll keep you guys updated on my Instagram, so make sure that you follow me over there. And thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I always enjoy doing these challenges, so if you have another challenge for me, leave it down below. And I will see you guys so very soon in my next one. Bye, guys.